create a virtual clone, start by launching Seek Builder Pro. Then create a new cloning project using the file new cloning project command. In the ensuing cloning project window, select the inserts folder and then select your insert sequences by going to file import sequences to project. Alternatively, you can drag and drop the desired sequences into the inserts folder from your file explorer. Next, select the cloning method you wish to use from the cloning menu. Seek Builder offers several cloning methods, including Gibson, Infusion, GeneArt, Gateway Multisite, TA, Topo, and Restriction Enzyme Cloning. After selecting your cloning method, two new tabs will appear in the cloning project window. In the clone tab, add your inserts to the fragment section by dragging and dropping them. Once there, you can reorder using drag and drop. Or if you only want to clone a specific region of a sequence, you can open that sequence, select the area that you wish to clone, and then choose Cloning, Clone Selected Fragment. In this case, the insert is placed directly in the fragments area of this cloning project window. Next, choose a vector from the cloning vector catalog using the vector drop-down menu. If the linearize button appears, press it, and choose Cut Sites from the ensuing window. The menus here automatically include only those enzymes that are unique in the vector and which will not cut the inserts. Click Select to leave this area, and then click the Try It button to see a summary of the project as you have it set up. Here we see details about the fragment inserts, primers, the steps needed to prepare the vector and amplify the inserts, and you can also see the reading frame around all the fragment junctions, graphically allowing you to verify whether promoters and genes are in sync. Click the Change button to return to the Clone tab to make changes. Or, if you're satisfied with the current project setup, click Make It to proceed with the cloning simulation. Once your virtual clones have been created, a new folder is added to the cloning project window. Depending on the method used, this folder may contain a copy of each insert and entry clone as well as the finished expression clone that will be used after recombination occurs. Double-click on any file to open it in the document window. The history view at the bottom of the document window displays the same information that we saw earlier during the cloning procedure. This information can be saved or copied 